Uh, what would you recommend someone do to introduce yourself into uh, the, the Broadway community? It is a really good question. I'm trying to think of like what I did was I cold emailed quite a few people, which I'm not sure is always the best way to go about it. But going to people's gigs is a big deal because you're supporting them, you know, taking lessons from people too. I always mm-hmm. thought was, I mean, that, that can be a little, th- there's some baggage there. Cause like, you don't know that then you're putting yourself in a position where you're not necessarily a peer of someone, you're their student for that day. But I always felt like whenever I would ask somebody to donate their time <laughs> that I was just really asking an awful lot of a stranger, you know, uh, it's one thing to like pre COVID we were able to go audit shows pretty easily. And there were quite a few people that I reached out to, to say like, I'd love to buy you a coffee. I'd love to buy you a meal, whatever, just to like pick your brain. I could take a lesson, whatever it is. But a lot of them responded with, well, I'm doing a show. Do you just want to come watch the show? (laughs) Do you want to meet me for coffee right before my show so that I can do this on my way to work? And it's like convenient. So I think whatever you're doing to reach out to people, Nothing is really wrong as long as you're not inconveniencing the person you're trying to reach out to. I think just remembering that other people's time is valuable, as valuable as yours, is really, really important.